Oh, here we are. We made it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the Instagram started. Um, all right, go ahead and pop on your bands if you're not already wearing them. This one's a little bit low on me. Um, have a sip of water. If you do not have water, grab water. And today's focus, we've been doing a lot of hard work all week. Um, today, we're going to go a little bit, I won't say easier, but just a little bit different. It is Friday, so we're going to be doing our mobility and flexibility training. So a lot of hard moves, but our goal to some degree in every move we do is to also open up the body and build mobility, so strength surrounding our joints. So with that being said, come on up. Cycles are going. So these first couple of moves we're gonna do are just in the name of stretching and mobility, not strength. So I am gonna take my arms up and overhead. The blood will not quite be pooling the same, uh, but we'll get plenty of work for strength as well. So I call this first move double arm rainbows. Um, we're gonna start by extending both arms forward. And I want you to extend your fingertips away from your body the entire time you do this. I'll come down so you can see me. I take them all the way back behind me. And without letting my elbows bend, I reach back all the way up and around. And I think we've done these maybe once or twice this week. Let's take four more sets. Notice that my body does not move. Only my arms are doing the work. So I have to utilize some muscles just to keep the body stable as I bring them all the way through. And my shoulders are a little bit tight, so if you're able to do a wider range of motion, or maybe your shoulders are more tight, you have a narrower range of motion, doesn't matter, that's why we do it. Ooh, those ones up and back behind are always really hard for me. Nice. Good. And today we're going a little bit slower with our moves, so instead of trying to jam through them, think quality over quantity. There'll be days when we want to pump up our heart rate, and there'll be days when we want to slow it down. Today's the latter. Good, last one. All the way back, up, and around. Good, shrug the shoulders out, hug them back. Something I like to remember throughout my day to remind myself to keep good posture is if I'm noting, noticing that I'm kind of getting slouchy, I think shrug and hug. So just if you're going throughout your daily life, you shrug your shoulders up, hug them back, and that's a little bit closer to better posture. Just a side note. All right, let's keep working into the shoulders. Arms out to the side, scarecrow arms. We've done these ones before. This is intense, we're gonna be working the muscles. Start to drop your right hand down towards the floor. Start to press the back of your left hand back behind you. Rotate, squeeze your biceps, hold, squeeze, more, more, more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your arms back through center. Other side, find your left hand, start to press it down towards the floor. Find the back of the right hand, press it back behind you, engage your core, squeeze it out, make sure the elbows stay in line with shoulders. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one more set. Rotate the opposite direction. Make sure we're not tipping or misaligning our body. Squeeze, keep growing taller. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last set. Rotate through, squeeze it out. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the arms out by the sides. Start to find your right palm, rotate it up towards the ceiling. Find your left palm, rotate it down and back. So we're wringing the arms out in the opposite directions like a towel. Yes, yeah, squeeze it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Ring it out the opposite direction. Make sure the wrists stay in line with your shoulders. Squeeze. Give me everything you've got. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, last set. Your shoulders should be almost giving out. We're working so hard. Uh-huh, good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Squeeze and reach. And seven, six, five, four, three, and two. All right, I think our shoulders have gotten mobilized. Let's take the hands behind the head. Last thing before we start to work into our strength building exercises, elbows are nice and wide. Keeping your hips stable, I want you to rotate side to side, working into the spine. So as I pull my right shoulder back, 
I'm pulling my left hip in opposite direction to keep it facing forward. Good, keep twisting side to side. So if we move our hips, we're rotating through the hips and what we really wanna do is rotate through the spine and it's hard to do this without moving the lower part of the body. Good, four more. Three. Two. And last one. All right. Ooh, my arms are starting, starting to feel it already. So let's get into the forearms today, working our smaller muscles first. But in the name of mobility, we're gonna do some circles with our wrist in order to build forearm strength. And we're only gonna do it with one wrist. So find your left hand, take it across the body, grab the right bicep, and kind of lift that right hand up like so. So we're gonna do 40 seconds for intervals today. Without letting your arm move at all, I want you to circle the wrist around in the socket, making as big a circle as you can, but don't let this forearm twist or ring. 40 seconds, we're gone. Work through it. And it's really hard. Your forearm's gonna wanna twist. Take it really slow. You can even bring your left hand to your forearm and isolate that movement so it's only the wrist moving. So we're building strength in our forearm to control the wrist. Yeah. And I know that everyone's forearm is twisting at least a little bit because mine is. So let's see if we can work it. A little bit smaller movement, really isolating it. Good. Start to twist the wrist the opposite direction, circle it around the other way. Mm -hmm. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Find your right hand, grab either left bicep or left forearm. I'd say actually forearm. Makes it harder to twist. 40 seconds, little wrist circles with the left hand. And I can already see my veins starting to show. Work is happening. Nice. Good, now keeping that forearm completely parallel with the ceiling. Start to rotate the hand the opposite direction in the wrist joint. Wrists are super important. We use them all day, every day in those things that we do. Let's give them some love, take care of them while we build strength. Last 10. For five, four, three, two, and one, rest. All right, so we started working the forearms. Now we're gonna come down onto hands and knees. Um, you can do this next move in plank position, but I want to see you perfect it on hands and knees before we come back into plank. So I make my one minute English, not happening this Friday. I make my way onto hands and knees. I start to walk my hands forward. Now, the farther you walk your hands away from your body, the harder this is going to be. Now, my hips stay completely immobile, stacked over my knees. I rock down in my forearms. I rock back up. I come down. I come back up. If you need to do this in plank, you can do it in plank. Otherwise, just walk your hands forward, forward even more to make it harder without letting the hips move. 40 seconds, we have two sets, down, up, down, and up. And as you're doing this, I want you to think about your triceps doing the work. So those little baby muscles in the backs of your arms. Good, down, and up. And to keep my hips stable, I'm pressing the floor away from me with the base of my palm the whole time I'm doing this down and up, starting to feel that burn. Yes. And you've got the idea if you want to do it in plank, go for it. Nice and slow. Good. Last 10. And we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk the hands under the body, take a rest. Now, because this one doesn't directly involve isolating a joint, if you want to move faster on the second set, you totally can. Another option is you walk your hands forward even farther, down, up, down, up. And I challenge, like, go really far, try it. Notice my hips still stay over my knees. Down, up, down, up. It's so hard. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. Rock down your forearms. Press up. Down and up, that's it. Awesome. Good. 
And when we walk our hands far away from the body, the muscles of our core and our shoulders have to work to keep everything contained so our hands don't fully slip out and we lose all control. So there's a lot more working here than just the triceps. We just start to feel that burn in the back of the arms. Awesome, Bonnie. <laughs> Dan, good to see you. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, gang. Tricep stretch, right hand between the shoulder blades. Switch it up, left hand between the shoulder blades. And go ahead and release. Next move, reverse push-up spinal extension. So the main goal of a push-up is to get the body as low to the floor as you can and then press back up. For the reverse push-up, I'm gonna take my time lowering my body all the way down to the floor, hands behind the head, spinal extension, nice and slowly, flat body, press all the way up. I come all the way down slowly, hands behind the head, Final extension, press the hands into the floor, all the way back up. If you need to, you can do them on your knees. 40 seconds, starting in five, four, three, and two. Let's work into it. Come down as slowly as you can. Work those muscles. Lift the chest, maybe the legs. Tuck the toes as slowly as you can, all the way back up, keeping your body in one long line the whole time you're doing this. Slow. Mm -hmm. And when we do these more slowly, we're able to better control our bodies because every single muscle has to work, not to let ourselves fully fall onto the floor. Cool, half done. Mm -hmm. And as much as I like the days when we move fast, I think I like the days when we move slow even more because we really get to work into the move and perfect it. Last five, give me one more, four, three, two, and one, everyone press back up, drop the knees. A couple rounds of cat cow to release the spine as you inhale, lift your chest and your tailbone. Exhale, navel to spine, round out. Three more, inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round the spine. Last two. And one. Good, nice flat back. If you choose to be in plank for this exercise, go ahead and walk yourself back into plank. Second set, we come down as slowly as we can. Spinal extension, tuck the toes, press back up. Time is rolling. Great. Mm -hmm. And these are the workouts that not only do our bodies want, but that our bodies also need. It's important to keep giving our joints love. If you can do that, it's much, much, much less likely that you'll ever get injured. And swimmers and all my athletes on here, we wanna make sure that we keep you in the best condition, not only shape possible. Last 10. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone tuck your toes. Lift your hips up and back. Walk, walk, walk your hands back to meet your feet. Hang in a forward fold. Grab opposite elbow. Give the shoulders a stretch for a moment. Grab opposite elbow. Pull yourself deeper. For this next set, my feet stay rooted into the ground, but I want you to think about your arms. I walk out into a plank position. I reach, my arms in line with my ear, none of this kind of sad reaching, all the way up, all the way up. I walk back as far as I can, keeping my legs straight. So as soon as your knees start to bend, you're not weighting your upper body, your knees are bending. I want the weight in your arms. So you walk back as far as you can with straight legs. Walk out into plank, reach, reach. Walk back as far as you can, keeping your legs straight. Okay, and as you reach, keep your body really stable. Don't let the hips move, okay? So let's go ahead and start in plank position. Go ahead and walk yourself out. 40 seconds in three, two, and one. We'll start with a reach, reach, keeping your legs straight. Walk as far as you can. Walk back out. Good, reach, 
reach, walk it in and walk it out. Keep going. And I mean it about keeping the legs straight. I know it sounds silly, but as soon as you let your legs bend, you're cheating. <laughs> nice. Good. Half done. Walk it out. There we go, last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees, give the left wrist a circle, release it, move it around. Give the right wrist a circle. Go ahead and walk back into plank. Second set in four, three, Two, starting with that reach, out, out, walk it back, walk it into plank. Good. And if you want more of a challenge, only walk your hands halfway into your feet. So you really get the weight in the shoulders. Give me those reaches. And then walk back up. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Last 15 seconds. Time is flying. Good. We have eight, seven. Give me one more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody drop your knees. We have one more exercise. We're going to get our heart rate up, and then we're going to move on to our legs. Before we do our next exercise, take your left hand to the back of your head. Wrap elbow to elbow underneath the body. Then lift your elbow out as far to the left as you can. Uh-huh. Three more. Elbow to elbow. Rotate open. Two. And one. Go ahead and release the left hand. Right hand to the back of the head. Other side. Elbow to elbow. Rotate to the right. We have three more. Two. And one. All right. Last upper body exercise of the day is a plank reach through T spine rotation. Oh my goodness. So the most important thing we're thinking of here is our T spine is our mid upper back, thoracic spine. We have cervical, neck, T spine, mid upper, and lumbar lower. So we're working into this space. I make my way down into forearm plank. I reach my left arm underneath my right, rotate up. Set it down. Meet my right arm under left. Rotate up. Set it down. So I'm getting into my spine in forearm plank. Let's go ahead and start in five, four, three, two. Reach the left arm under. Reach it up. Set it down. Right arm under. Up. Set it down. Keep going side to side. Awesome. I'm even excited for part of our heart rate boost today because we're going to gain some flexibility as we do it. And after we do a heart rate boost, we have our question of the day, which is always fun. Awesome. Last 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. We have 10, 9, two more good slow ones, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Everybody come on up to stand. Our three moves to get our heart rate pumping are, so the first one is butt kicks. So I'm kicking up, 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 up. Not only am I getting my heart rate up, but I'm also kind of stretching, not kind of, I am stretching my quads and my hip flexors as I'm doing this. So really do your best to not only get your heels up, really get them to your butt. And if you wanna go fast, add that jump. Second move, double pulse squat hop. I'm opening up my hips. I'm strengthening my quads and my glutes. I pulse, pulse, up, pulse, pulse, up. If the jump doesn't work, I know how to modify. Last up, this one's purely for flexibility, windmills. I reach down, up, down, up, side to side. Engage your core the whole time. 
you'll be able to get a little bit lower and you'll be able to have an easier time getting up. So first up, we have 30 second butt kicks in five, four, three, and two, kick it out. And I wanna make sure we're not doing high knees here. Really contract through the hamstring to get your heels in towards your butt. And if you wanna add jogging arms to your butt kicks, I'm cool with that. Nice. So that's 10. Then we're coming into double pulse squat, hop in five, four, three, and two. Jump it out. Pulse, pulse, jump, pulse, pulse, jump. Keep it going. Good. Half done. Let me see a big old jump. Whoo, there we go. Yeah, last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Windmills, side to side. Now this one, I want you to work on getting your fingers all the way to your toes every time you reach. A little lower, a little lower. So it's not so as intense as some of our jumping, but we're actively increasing our flexibility as we do this. And that is exactly what I want for a Friday. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone come on up, kick it out, swap out the bands. Let's move to our legs. And the question of the day, I like this one. If you could go back to any decade in history, which one would you reverse time travel to and why? Some days we have easy questions, sweet or salty. To the Sometimes 80s. we have, ooh, what do we got? To the 80s. And why? Because they got the best music. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's just that simple. What and else do we have? Liam break dancing too in the 80s. Would you want to go there? back to the 80s? I'll go back to the 70s. Good, good classic rock. Good classic rock. Okay. Of any decade, and it doesn't have to be in your lifetime. It can be like the 1610s because I'm really into Da Vinci art. I don't know whatever you're into. Quentin says 2010s. Why? You gotta give more. Well, Quentin explains. She says 1770s to be with George and Ben and the other Patriots. There we go. Now we got some history going on. Quentin's like, I'd go back to last year because it was really great. <laughs> All right. 8033 would be cool too. Steve, okay. I like your answer. So no, I'll do 1840 and the westward movement. Ooh. Just out of curiosity. In. I like it. Coming in with some history. Anyone else? Quentin, you still got to explain the 2010s. <laughs> this one, I don't, I, this one's hard for me. Like, I think it'd be really cool to go back to the 60s and 70s, musically speaking, for my own personal taste. But, like, the Renaissance anytime throughout then, like, that would be crazy cool to see, too. Haven't thought of this one as well. Bonnie says, music, 70s. <laughs> 2010 is a long time ago. Okay. So we're kind of like a music-oriented group. We like travel, outdoors. We like music. All right. Instagram, we're discussing what decade we would go back to if we could pick and why. So because I like that hip hop rap is really good during this decade. Okay. All right. Still music oriented. All right. Also, there are video games. <laughs> on that note, leg bands are on. Please have a sip of water if you have not already done so. Our first exercise with our leg bands. Oh, got another answer in the chat. George says, 100,000 years ago to see what paleo was like. Fair. I like it. 
<laughs> All right. So we're going to start with a familiar move, heels up, butts down to start to wake up the calves. So I lift my heels up. Once they're elevated, I sink my butt down as low as I can go. Without letting the heels touch, I rise back up. And you can either keep your heels up the whole time or take a little rest. I don't care if this move looks like this. It's a baby bend. Whatever it is, heels up, butts down. 40 seconds in four, three, two. Here we go. Heels up. Get your butt as low as you can. And go ahead and set your own cadence here because everyone's gonna have a very different pace. I want you to take it slow. Really focus on controlling your body and your muscles to not only keep the heels up with the balance, but also get the butt a little bit lower each time. There we go. Mm -hmm. Last 15 seconds. Nice. Good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. These look great. Go ahead and give the legs a little shake, a little kick. One thing to note for the second set is I'd like everyone to try and do their best to keep their feet in line with their hips. So sometimes we tend to kind of rotate out here because it makes it easier to get down. Try and keep the legs parallel for this one. We'll have opportunities to open up our hips on our next exercise. So just one little note. Other than that, fantastic. Second set in four, three, two. We are rolling. Heels up. Get low and rise. It might be a little shaky, a little wobbly. That's okay. Why we do it? Yesterday we did balance. Today we're doing flexibility and mobility. We did some cardio this week. Keep going. I'm tipping all over the place. Yes, last 10. Good. One more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Cool. Come on out to stand. Shake it out. Let's get our heart rate up. We have three heart rate boost sessions for the lower body. This is number one, butt kicks in four, three, two, let's move. Nice. I like these, get a nice quad stretch. We do a lot of hamstring stretching. We don't do a ton of quad stretching. We're gonna explore that in a bit today. Woo, get it up, get them up. Get those heels to your butt. Yes. Yeah. Eight, seven, six, five. Squat hops in three, two, and one. Jump it out. Pulse, pulse, hop. Pulse, pulse, hop. We're rolling. The lower you can go, the better. Waking up our hips for our next strength building exercise. Good, pulse, pulse, and hop. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Windmills, arms up, side to side. Use your core to help rotate all the way over. Up, down, and up. Yes, that's it. Get the backs of the legs nice and open. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So this next exercise is fun. My idea of fun. So before, we worked our arms by walking our arms out and back to our legs. Now, we're going to walk with our arms, but we're going to focus on the legs. So how this looks is I angle my feet slightly wider than hip distance. Toes are facing out. So I'm in a squat position. I sink my butt down. I walk my hands out, feet stay where they are. I walk my hands all the way back till I'm in a squat. If you can't go this low, I don't care. Get as low as you can go. All the way out, feet stay wide. All the way back, sink your butt down. That's the move. A lot of mobility, opening up the hips. 40 seconds, we're going in four, three, 
two, and one. Walk them out. Walk them back. That's it. Each time you do it, get your butt a little bit lower to the ground. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now notice here, if your heels start to lift, you're cheating. Got to keep your heels rooted into the floor the whole time. Nice, Clinton. Ty looks great. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Go, Lily. Good. Last 10. Chris is moving. Five, four, three, two, and one. We meet in that hovered squat position. Get as low as you can. Mm -hmm. And then bring your hands together. Press your knees open wherever you are, rock side to side. Even if your butt's not low, I want you to try and do it. All right. Root the hands into the floor. Second set. Three, two, one. Walk it out. Walk back into squat. That's it. And if you have loose hips, it's going to be really easy. If you don't, it's going to be super hard. Regardless, everyone I see doing it is doing great. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> Half done. Good. Last 10 seconds. We're gonna come back into that hovered squat position in five, four, three, two, and one. Come down, rise on up to stand, hands to the hips, circle them out. Other way. Second heart rate boosting session of our workout today. First 30 seconds, butt kicks in three, two, one. Here we go. After this, we're gonna take a water break. And then we have three more strength building exercises. And then we're gonna pop the bands off. We've got this. Get them up, get them up. Yeah, last five, four, three, two, and one. Pull, pull, jump, pull, pull, jump. Nice. Uh-huh, last 10. Give me what you got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so this next one is what I call an around the world exercise or a partial around the world exercise. I step my feet wide. I rotate over to the right. Lunge, rotate center, sumo squat, up, Rotate, lunge, center, sumo, rotate, lunge. Keep going side to side, working through it. And I want us to do our best on that lunge to get the back knee to the floor, rotate, but towards the floor. Doesn't matter how low you go, back knee down. 40 seconds in four, three, two, go. <laughs> People are like, Oh gosh, we're moving. Looks well, great. Mm -hmm. Now, as we do this, keep going. Challenge yourself. See if you can get your butt even lower on that sumo. Rise back up. Going not for speed, but for quality over quantity. Last 10. Mm-hmm. Spine stays nice and straight for five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Give the legs a kick out to the side. Okay. That was great. Next set, we're going in five, four, three, two. Lunge. Center. Sumo. Up. Lunge, center, 
sumo up. <laughs> Good, and do your best to keep your feet rooted into the floor the whole time. Try not to shift or wiggle. So it requires a little bit of balance to keep ourselves only rotating through the hips and not shifting and readjusting. Mm-hmm. Nice. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to get our heart rate up. Last time of the day, then we've got our last two exercises. All right, butt kicks. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Kick it out. 30 seconds. And we've got our squat pulses and our windmill. So this is our last set. Let's go all out. Kick it with heels up. There we go. Half done. Full one sprint. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hop out. Double pulse squat. Pulse, pulse, jump. Pulse, pulse, jump. Killer. And we know that after this, we have windmills. So get your boat low, pulse it, leap. Yes, last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms up, windmills side to side. And these are pretty safe. So if you want to go fast, go fast, work through it. Half done. Mm -hmm. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, this next exercise. Call it silly, call it whatever you want to call it, but it definitely builds body control and strength. We're doing roundhouse kicks. We're starting with the right leg. So keeping my body as stable as possible, I kick up and around. I kick up and around. We have 40 seconds per side, and that's it. Be careful not to get too crazy. I don't want anyone pulling any muscles. You can also do these in slow motion. So it's your choice. I think the ladder's harder. 40 seconds in four, three, two, here we go. Woo! You can go fast or you can go slow. Up to you. Oh my goodness, Dan's like chopping the air. <laughs> awesome. Good, now as we're doing these, our body has to stay really strong so we don't fall over. So think about how your core is supporting you. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Chris looks good. It's so funny, the things that are so easy for some people are harder for others. We all have such our strengths and weaknesses. And for a lot of people, these are really hard to get that leg up and control it. And I like it. That's exactly why we're doing it. We want to be able to move in every which way possible. That is true strength. Last 10. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rock your hips side to side. Now for some, this might be the easiest thing we do today. For some, this might be the hardest. All right, second side in four, three, two, left leg, get it up, around, and back. If you wanna go fast, go fast. You will usually have a lot more flexibility and mobility in one side than the other. I know I certainly do. Steve's even pointed it out to me. <laughs> and that's normal and it's fine. Oh, Sophia and Cindy, good. <laughs> it feels really silly. They look great. Half done. Mm -hmm. Hips are going to be burning. 
And we have six, five, four, three, two, and one. You guys did so great. We're not gonna do a second set of those. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. <laughs> it looked really good. All right, final exercise of the day. This is gonna be the hardest thing we do. We've practiced it once or twice before, and we're gonna work into it. So today we worked into our hips, right? We worked on getting our hips, our butt all the way down towards the floor. Now we're gonna use this motion and try and make our way up to stand. So what I'd like to see is you roll back, you roll up, you get your butt off the floor. Roll back, roll up, get your butt off the floor. Now, if you're feeling spicy, you roll back, roll up to stand, come down, roll back, roll up, stand. One thing to note, my feet are wider than my hips and they're angled out, so I'm in a squat-like position. So, remember, you can also always use your body to help. So roll back, press your butt up, that's fine too. So we're gonna start seated. We've got 40 seconds. Play with it, make it fun, okay? In four, three, two, and one. We roll back, get your butt off the floor, see if you can come up, come down, roll back. Either butt up and pause, or rise all the way up, and come down. Awesome, keep playing around with it. Core is working, glutes are working, quads are working, brain is working. <laughs> Ah, oh, amazing. Nice, Dan. Uh-huh. Last six, five, four. We're gonna meet seated in three, two, and one. Everyone come into a wide-legged seat for one minute to help release your legs. Give your legs a pedal. So everyone I saw doing the work was doing it perfectly. And perfect doesn't mean that you get off your butt. It doesn't mean that you come up to stand. It means that you try. And that's what really matters here. Let's take our second set. Root your feet into your floor. Grab your knees. 40 seconds, here we go. We roll back, roll up, and maybe we stand. Keep going. And this means way more than just having flexible and mobile enough hips to be able to do this. This is also how well we can control our core to help use that to help oomph, get ourselves up to stand. Always a work in progress. Tie looks great. George, amazing, you got it. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone come on up to stand. Take your bands off. For the last six to seven minutes of class, we will be doing stretching and mobility work. We've already gotten a thorough workout with the bands. Our capillaries have been expanded, and now we get to reap the benefits with a stretch. So release those bands. And come on down to sit. We're gonna start lying on our right side. I saw someone threw something in the chat, let me check. Chris says, stretching, yippee. <laughs> yes, that's the spirit. We're gonna start lying on our right side. Reach back, grab your left ankle. And notice that my knee starts to come forward. I want you to pull your knee back. So we talked about our quads, we're opening up the front of the left quad. Now, for every stretch we do, we want to think of two movements going in the opposite direction. So I'm going to pull my knee back. At the same time, I want to press my hip forward, creating as much length as I can from the left hip bone to the left knee. Now, if your knee starts to splay open to the side, keep pulling it in line with the bottom leg. Keep squeezing your butt, squeezing your butt, squeezing your butt. Create that resistance in our own body to help open up the muscle. Now, we've got a few more things to do here. Still working with the left leg, roll over onto your back, take left ankle, 
over right knee, figure four stretch. My rule here is that the back of the head has to stay rooted into the floor in contact with the floor the whole time. If you're lifting your head off the floor, you're not really stretching your hip, you're just curling your spine. Now everybody find your left hand, take it to the inner edge of the left knee, gently press it away from the body as you pull the right leg in towards the body. So that's my two movements in opposite direction. Give yourself a rock side to side and just relax here for a minute. Maybe even close your eyes. It's the biggest muscles in the body. We want to give them some love. Good. Now keeping your feet exactly where they are, set the right foot into the floor and start to guide the left foot across the body for a spinal twist. And once you're here, you can continue to press the left knee down towards the floor, pulling it in towards the body. So getting into the hips a little bit more, getting into the IT band and also the spine. And the one thing I wanna make sure of here is that our left shoulder stays in contact with the floor. So my two movements are I'm pressing my left shoulder towards the floor and I'm also pressing my left knee towards the floor. Good, release it, come back to center, unhook the left knee, pull the knee into the chest, so as stretch deepest muscle in the entire body. So it's important that we stretch this one because it's really far in there. Hard to get to otherwise. Pull it in a little bit more. Head and the shoulders still stay in contact with the floor. And then release the left leg. Now let's make our way over onto our left side. And it's gonna look like I'm on my right side because I'm on a screen. So it looks like I'm doing the opposite thing here. But I'm on my left side, I'm gonna reach back, grab my right ankle, pull my knee back as I press my hips forward, our two actions. And as I press my hips forward, I can squeeze my glutes to help get into the stretch. So we're mimicking our butt kicks. Okay. Hmm. Slow the breathing down a little bit if you can. Squeeze your butt even more. And then start to roll over onto your back. This time take your right ankle over your left knee, figure four other side. Now, if you can't keep the back of your head down when you reach through the legs and pull the left leg in, don't pull the left leg in, just keep the left foot on the floor. Otherwise, pull that leg in, Take right hand to inner edge of the right knee. As you press the right knee away, keep pulling the left leg in towards the body. Counteraction. Now we can rock side to side, giving the muscles a little wiggle, helping them open, encouraging them. We never want to force a muscle to lengthen. It will retaliate. It'll say, no, thank you. But we want to help them open. So working into the stretch. All right, now keeping the feet where they are, drop the left foot to the floor and start to guide the right foot across the body to the left. Now my two actions, I'm pressing my right shoulder against the floor and I'm pressing my right knee towards the floor as well. And I want you to take a couple deep breaths here, feeling the rib cage expand and contract. Giving those muscles some nice fresh air. Okay. 
and you start to come back through center, pull the right knee into the chest, letting the left leg relax, getting into the psoas. We did a fair amount of stretching for our hamstrings today, just in those arm walkouts. So we're not gonna do anything too crazy, but keep pulling the right knee in, relaxing the shoulders, maybe closing the eyes. And then pull the left knee into the chest, joining the right knee, rock side to side. And when you're ready, start to rock and roll up and down along your spine a few times. And we'll take a simple hamstring stretch here, forward fold, letting your spine completely round, hang over the leg. And a lot of you know this already, but if we're only stretching with the bands, you can just put the bands on. But if you're working out and then stretching like we did today, we want to work out with the bands and then go ahead and release them for the stretch. Shake your head no, no more squats. Shake your head yes, it's Friday and we did this. Start to roll up to sit, clasp the hands, extending the base of the palms upward. A big stretch over to the right. Ooh, keep pressing away from you. Breathe. Big stretch over to the left. Big breath. Big stretch up through center. Release the hands and then bring them together. Down to the pause. Good job. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will hopefully see you on Monday. Thanks, Laurel. Awesome. Thanks, Laurel. Great weekend. Bye. Okay. Great job. Thanks. Thank you.